Good morning once again. And to those of you who are watching online, we are so glad that you are sticking with us this morning. Let us pray. God of all the saints, we take this opportunity to say thank you. Thank you for being present in this place on this day at this very moment. God, we thank you for allowing me one more opportunity to stand before your people at this sacred desk. Bless these lips, O oh God. Bless the ears that hear and the hearts that we receive. We give you all the praise and all the glory. It's in the matchless name of your son, Jesus, that we offer this prayer. For all the saints, have you ever been in a car going somewhere when the rain was falling and the wind was blowing? Did you see the force of the wind drive the raindrops together, then forcing them up to the top of the windshield? These drops together formed a larger drops, and they in turn formed together to make even larger drops. And before you knew it, there was a small river running up the window. But there were other drops which remained apart from the larger ones, and there were other drops which formed into their own smaller rivers. At one time, you saw the drops of rain coming together to form a river. Then for some reason, they parted again, forming even smaller rivers. It is fascinating to watch the different patterns of rain on the windshield. Try it sometimes when you're not driving, of course. Those raindrops draw drawing together to form larger ones and even small rivers are a lot like the saints of God. You and I are believers in God, for that is what a saint is, joining with others to form a small river, a community in Christ. We journey together for a while, but then some leave because of illness, moving away, and even death. But others join this community in Christ, this bond of saints to continue their journey until the second coming of Christ, when we all join with him in that heavenly home. Remember that song, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. This is why the Beatitudes that we heard read earlier say, blessed are. With this beginning phrase, Jesus was speaking about the qualities or the virtues of true saints as he shared with the crowds. This morning on this Sunday that is deemed All Saints Sunday, we are going to look at these saints, saints we have journeyed with in the past, saints we journey with now in the present, and then the hope of all saints we have in the future. The saints we recall in the past, the ones who have found their eternal rest, we remember their faith and the fact that our fellowship is a communion of eternal life. The members of this community remain part of it, even after death. It is from these saints that our heritage of faith has been passed on. It is from these saints that the time-honored values are passed on and are brought into this very present moment. It is from these saints that we can draw courage and faith and courage and strength. It is from these saints that we remember their lives, their actions, and their relationships. We remember our connectedness, remembering that our little community here is part of the body of Christ, the church throughout time and space. This is why church history and a good record keeping are so very important. I picked up one of y'all histories in the back and read through it about how all the different churches come 
came together to remember all of those saints, even those we do not know, for all the saints. As we reflect back over our lives, we recall many saints, even loved ones who, though they are now resting in another land not made with hands, they still keep us good with their relationship. For the relationship is alive within each and every one of us. Maybe it's a husband's memory, or a child, or a father's memory, or a grandparent's memory which tugs at the heartstrings of our lives. Whatever it is, it is good to ponder, to reflect, to relive those special moments. Blessed are the meek and the pure in heart. As I think back over my years of being a pastor, many saints flash through the picture book of my mind. Each one holds a special memory, a special picture which influences my life today. And from my personal history, the images of my two grandparents the grandmothers, the two grandfathers, my paternal great-grandparents, which I had the pleasure of knowing, my father, one of my brothers, aunts and uncles and cousins and other relatives and friends, dear to me, flash across the memory screen. From my grandparents, especially my mother's mother, I gained a deep sense of pride, family love, strong love of God, and a blessed outlook on heritage. My spiritual roots are much stronger because of her prayers, her conversations, and the way she lived her life with uncompromising values. My maternal grandfather was a man of powerful prayers and unwavering strength. And in the face of racism, he stood his ground and protected his family. From my paternal grandparents, I gained a sense of call to ministry, for both of them were preachers of the gospel. From my dear father, I gained a love of music and singing because he was a quartet singer with one of the sweetest tenor voices this side of heaven. And I consider my own 95-year-old mother one of the living saints for the gift that she gave her children as a single mother. There are so many other things that I can say about the saints in my life, living and deceased, but then we would never finish this sermon. Remember, I told y'all, if you don't say amen, it might take me a little longer. <laughs> For all the saints, they will never be read about in a book or given a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame or put in one of the many halls of fame, for they are ordinary people just like you and me. But in the course of seeking to be faithful followers of Christ, in striving to love the Lord with all their hearts, their soul, their strength, and their mind, they ended up touching my life in ways that changed me and had a profound effect on who I am today. For all the saints, blessed are the merciful and those persecuted for righteousness. What about each of you? Who are the ones that you remember? Who are the saints in your lives that brought you to this place today so that you are here in church, in this church, on this day to worship and praise God, to hear God's word, and to celebrate God's love and grace through the holy sacraments that will be shared today? Friends, this is what All Saints Sunday is all about. It is a set-aside time each year to remember and to thank God for all the saints down through the ages whose names may not be recorded in the church history books, but whose names are certainly written in the Lamb's Book of Life. 
and whose names and faces are recorded in our hearts and in our memories. On this All Saints Day, it is good to allow those special thoughts of loved ones to surface, to be relived, to be cherished once again. All Saints Sunday is the day that we as Christians give thanks for all of the good people God has placed in our lives, especially those who are already with God in heaven, those triumphant saints. As the hymn writer states, for all the saints who rest from their, who from their labors rest, who thee by faith before the world confess thy name. O oh, Jesus, be forever blessed. Alleluia! Alleluia! And as we confess in the creed, I believe in the communion of saints. There is a relationship with the past saints which affect our present in a good and healthy way. So All Saints Sunday is also when Christians give thanks for the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives and in the lives of all people. It is not because people are special in and of themselves that we call them saints, but it is because they are ordinary, everyday people who allow the Holy Spirit to work through them, doing mighty deeds of the Lord. We know the writer of Hebrews tells us, we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. The lives of those past saints do affect us today. It is good to recall their influence, their friendship, and the bonds that link us to them and to the past. It is good to check our memory banks, our heartstrings, our spirits, to know that they will never leave us. The inspirational author, Presbyterian preacher, and theologian Frederick Bruckner puts it this way, and I quote, when you remember me, it means that you carried something of who I am with you, that I have left some mark on who I am, on who you are. It means that you can summon me back to your mind, even though countless years and miles stand between us. It means that if we meet again, you will know me. It means that even after I die, you can still see my face and hear my words and speak to me in your heart." End of quote. The friendships of past saints lead us into relationships we now have today. For this present moment is made up of the community of the faithful believers who share with one another their trust, their belief, their acceptance of Jesus Christ as Lord. Saints on this faith journey today can be a faithful witness to their faith and belief for other believers. For you see, we draw courage and faith, confidence and trust, strength and fortitude from each other to be Christ's witnesses in the world. And we are blessed for it. For you see, the Beatitudes of our Lord are a clear description of the faithful as they live their lives in this world. Notice the descriptions that you heard earlier. They turn the world upside down. For they describe people who are not victors, but who are sometimes victims of this life. However, because of Christ, Victory has been achieved. For example, take the second beatitude. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. 
There are so many means for this one, but one which describes the love and faithfulness of the community of believers says, blessed or happy is the person who identifies with the sorrows of this world. Blessed are those who voluntarily share their neighbor's pain. Blessed are those who walk with one another as they face the brokenness in their lives. Blessed are those who walk with another to give support, encouragement, strength, and comfort in God's world. Blessed are those who allow another to feel the pain and the heartache of life without pretending that somehow it will be okay. You know we as church folk, we love to give platitudes. Well, sometimes people don't want to hear it will be okay. And sometimes we just need to sit with them and cry with them and weep with them and hurt with them so they know that we live this life for real. Amen, somebody. Can't you see, my friends, that being in community with another, being a witness, being a saint for another saint is what? The body of Christ, the church is all about being able to walk with another person down their path without wanting to direct or lead that person is our calling in the body of Christ. God didn't call you to make people think what you think. God called you to be present with another. This present moment as we celebrate this all Saints Day. It's a time for each of us to turn to our sister and brother, to give them strength, to give them courage, to give them comfort and confidence as they walk their own journey of faith. For you see the Beatitudes, call attention to the people we would otherwise overlook. Those that are humble, compassionate, meek, righteous, merciful, pure in heart, peacemakers, and willing to be persecuted for righteousness' sake. Sounds like our election cycle. Amen, somebody. In conclusion, the Beatitudes remind us how God in Christ claims people, frail, humble, poor, mourning, and makes them his own. As you read through the Beatitudes, and I, and I ask that you would not just hear them today, but go home and read them again and let them speak to you. Let Jesus speak to you as if you were sitting on that mount with him. As you read through those beatitudes, what parts of your life are highlighted? And as we prepare to partake of the beatitude meal at the end of this worship experience, the broken, blessed, and giving body of Christ, I ask that you remember that when you come to the table, Come as you are. Don't come pretending. Don't, don't come thinking you are a bag of chips and all of that. Come as you are. Behold who you are. Know that as the blessings Jesus shared on that mount, know that it will be at this table. That because of you and because of your receipt of what this table has. We all, as we come to the table, we will behold the Lord just as the Lord is. So my friends, my sisters and brothers, my saint sisters and brothers, today I remember you. Today, 
even though I have not known you long, I love you and guess what? You cannot do anything about it. Today, as we fellowship together, know that God loves you so much that God gave God's only son so that you might have a right to the tree of life, a right to be called saints, even when some people want to call you ain'ts. You are a saint. Pray with me. God in heaven, we thank you for the mercies that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for the love that you have gifted us. We thank you that you said that we are blessed. Not because of what we've done, not because of who we are, but because of who you are. We thank you and we give you all the praise. Amen.